are very complicated systems like a very sophisticated flying machine, there are thousands and thousands of parts interacting and working together. Okay? And you can go from one side to the other side very fast. Actually, a 747 can go in a matter of seconds. Color Rift doesn't go that fast, but it can go really in a matter of just a few years to a, from my state of a coral, coral dominate to algae dominate. Okay? The issue is, is that if you have a very good mechanic and a very good engineer and you throw it in the middle of this scene, they have a manual and they can put it back together. They know how they work this part. Yeah? So I don't think nobody will jump in that plane anymore. <laughs> but it's technically possible. But we don't have the manual how to put a coral reef together. Coral degradation is no longer an environmental problem. It's a, it's a social problem. It's a social problem worldwide. Millions of millions of people depend on the health of the coral reef. And there are governments, believe me, in some areas of Southeast Asia and South Pacific, and they are starting talking about riot control because of coral reef degradation. That bad as good. And of course, it's not the case of Bonaire, but still, Bonaire depend on their nature, especially the health of the coral reef for for their growth. Okay? So we have to stop talking about coral reef degradation as an environmental problem. Every time we frame the coral degradation in an environmental problem, we are isolating the problem from, from us. We think, oh, it's an environmental problem. Let's see now, but take care of that. <laughs> and this is the position that is kind of in the, in the air today. Okay? And it's no longer a, a, a Environmental problem, it's a social problem, it's everybody's problem. Okay? You live in an ocean front house, hey, think about how much your house will cost if you don't have any reef in the in front of your house and the water is sticky green. You read this kind of uh, alarming expression. 25% of the reef will die within your kid lifetime. Well, let me tell you. It will happen before that. They will. They won't even have a chance to come with a new technology to recover. The reef won't be there anymore. Okay. So it's up to us to to do the right thing at the right time. And unfortunately, we don't have much time. So those are the data. This is what is happening. <laughs> you can believe it or not. You can. We can believe it and do something. When we can think that it's just data, it is not happening, that we scientists are a bunch of crazy people trying to alarm and scare people away. So this is my presentation for today. Thank you very much.